so I kid you not, right behind me is one of the pet store dumpsters. And I go up to it and I go around the corner of the fence. Oh, there they go. <laughs> go buddies. Oh my God, give me a heart attack. That's happened to me once before when I went to go in a dumpster and literally a raccoon jumped out of nowhere. Here, it's like the hot spot hotel for them. I swear, like all the, all the raccoons in the local area come. That's sadly the remnants of one raccoon that ended up getting a flattened like a pancake. Actually, last week when I came, there was two. Maybe I'm nervous that there's more raccoons. Oh God, there's another one in there. Okay, we'll hey guys, good morning. It is your boy Billy and today is another dumpster diving journey. Now, I'm actually at the end of my journey itself. I just got back home and I ended up waking up at 522 this morning, which I've wanted to do for ages now, so I'm glad I actually did. I wanted to get out and about before all the workers were there. Because believe it or not, workers get to their jobs so early. Like Department stores won't open until 9 or 10 and still employees will be there at 7 a.m. on the dot. And uh, I guess maybe it's a lot of like restocking things they have to do, but I mean, it's like, come on. And uh, like, again, I haven't ever ran into any issues, but at the same time, I don't want to make a spectacle out of myself. And ideally, if I could kind of fly under the radar, uh, I'd rather do that. I only go dumpster diving in areas where there's no signs and there's no signs that say trespassing. I don't go to lock dumpsters. I only go to open ones, but if somebody at a complex, like a store, or like a worker, a manager, whatever, they tell you you're trespassing and they tell you they don't want you to do it, then it is considered trespassing since then you were told. So my kind of thought is uh, I don't want to necessarily set myself up. I don't want to draw attention to myself and get in anybody's way. So I'd rather just go at times when there's nobody really out and about. And then plus at the same time, too, I don't like people are so goddamn nosy. And I feel like naturally I just like, like Bleh, what? Like, what, what are you looking at? And um, again, like that could kind of draw attention to myself just because it's like, I don't, I don't want to deal with it. And uh, yeah, I'm just not trying to deal with any of that. Ain't nobody got time for that. Am I right? But I absolutely love going early. And before I go on and show you what I ended up finding, I just wanted to say shout out to Sean. He is the best. He ended up going to Home Depot the other day and he saw this light with the magnet on it. And let me just say, it makes things so much easier compared to going in with a headlight or going in with just with my phone itself because then I'm always nervous. I'm gonna drop it in like a bloody pool of tampons or like grossness or old food or something like that. So this way I don't have to take my phone out as much aside from just filming. And also I can't really do both at the same time, you know, so it works out perfect just to be hands-free. But at TJ Maxx, I did find this Snuggle Nest Slumber baby thing. It looks like it's brand new. Um, so I'm curious maybe if it's a return or something. I'm pretty sure I have all the parts. So I want to see like how much that's worth because I feel like that might be something I could sell because it looks like it's in really good shape. And then I found this barbecue grill caddy. Now, before we get into the haul, uh, do me a favor. If you like these kind of dumpster diving tutorials, these dumpster diving behind the scenes, uh, you know, like the video, subscribe, let me know. And otherwise, I'll keep posting these kind of videos on here. So, yeah, thanks. All right, up next. We have TJ Maxx, and uh, I gotta admit, that's the first things you see when you come on in, and that is not too inviting. So I'm gonna take a peek on the stuff underneath that. Oh my goodness, okay, but I just look down, and I see this. This is crazy. Okay, so somebody, I'm assuming, must have already fished this out, and some of these look like I can actually repurpose and do uh, candles with. So you know what, I'm gonna take a few of these guys. Bring you magazine galore. Up first on our list, we have this beautiful baby bassinet. And I must say, when I first saw it, I was like, ooh, this is fancy. It was still in the box right here. And I was a little nervous on, you know, if it was broken, if some parts were missing. But I put it together and I will say, I believe that this is Good to go. Granted, I don't know if a mattress pad usually comes in there or if that's something that you buy separately. I have to check the box, but I think we're in business. And I mean, I looked these up on Amazon. I also looked them up on Bye Bye Baby and they sell for on average $120. So brilliant find. Definitely going to be listing this. 
Then also, I found this today, which is a barbecue caddy. This is another thing I was a little apprehensive on taking um, at first. Well, I definitely wanted to check it out, but I didn't think it would be in perfect condition. Everything is still in the original packaging. So this is something that could, I, you know, number one, I'm gonna try to sell it, but it could also be a great, great gift too, if I can't, or keep it for, you know, me and Sean. When we're entertaining, we wanna just pull out a grill caddy because we're just oh so fancy, we need a caddy. We can't possibly carry out the paper towels we, or the hot sauce or anything else. These are actually all from different stores. So, you know what, we'll just do a little bit of a blend of everything. Up next, I actually found three of these acrylic containers and me, I love organizing. Everything has a place and there's a place for everything. My grandma would always say that. And all of these had brand new stickers on them and they were just in the trash, which I couldn't believe. These I ended up finding from Bed Bath & Beyond. I am so, so glad that they weren't destroyed. They weren't spray painted. Nothing bad happened to them. Up next, we have some of our pet store items. I actually did really well. There's a particular pet store that no matter when I go, I only go once a week. I, it is always a great turnout, no matter what. And I feel like it's like a bougie pet store, but it's e not even in that nice of an area, but they just throw out so much. But realistically, it's like, it's not returns either because it's brand new with the tags on it. It doesn't have a return sticker or anything. It's just like they clear out their inventory, like no tomorrow. So up first from the pet store, we have this combo deep dome dual lamp fixture. I actually used to have a bearded dragon, so I am very familiar with all these kind of domes and the heating bulbs and all that kind of stuff. So when I found this on the inside, I was like, oh my God, maybe I need to get another bearded dragon. Is this a sign? Because this was actually in one of those tanks that is like a combo tank that has everything you need. Uh, and except the tank itself was broken. There was a little crack on the back. I did try to take it out myself. And then all of a sudden the side ended up breaking because it was just like really deep down in the dumpster. So I had to abandon that, but I did take what was inside this is brand new i've already taken out but you know just for the sake of the video i will leave it in the box um up next this is from a different pet store but i found this dome lamp i was apprehensive on if this was going to work uh, i figure it's probably a return and luckily i tested both of these and they both work up next okay i was thrilled for this because i've never found like a fancy smart camera and um this one it actually doesn't retail for, for that much it is a return and i plugged it in just to see if it works which it does but i haven't synced the app and everything like that so i'm curious on if it is going to work but i feel like this is absolutely perfect because if we're out of the house we want to say hi to the dogs we can and you know usually these are so expensive so i am excited but like this one it seems oh this one was like only 40 bucks uh but still i mean it's one less thing that i have to buy and my dogs will love to get a little check-in Right, babe? Little nugget? Little baby? Precious angel? Oh, precious angel. He's judging me. Okay, sleep tight. Go back to bed. <laughs> and from there, we have two bags of dog food. So this is a freedom grain. This actually still isn't expired, but with these retail stores, they do have to throw out items before their expiration date. So I found these. I found this lime green papapia. Papilla? Puppy a dog harness right here. Next, we have our Repti Rock. So this was in that same tank with this. So it was this, this, and then also there was the bulb here, which is a Repti basking spot lamp. I'm thinking I could sell this in a combo deal like it was originally, you know, anticipated to be sold. So this way, you know, if somebody is thinking about getting a reptile or specifically a bearded dragon, it will be perfect because I also have Bearded Dragon Food Sampler Value Pack with all of these good goodies on the back. And again, perfectly brand new. Another bulb that was also in the tank, which this is brand new as well. I haven't looked this up at the see price-wise, like what these retail for, um, but I'm sure not too expensive. Funny enough, I did find another bulb this morning from another pet store and I was super excited because I saw it was a return uh, and the, the price on it was $60. But unfortunately, I did put it in this dome just to test it and I know that this works and I think the bulb shot. I kind of thought so, but I figured I would give it a shot just to see. And then our last Bearded Dragon item is we have this thermometer humidity gauge. So boom, this could be a perfect pack for, sell that separately, but a perfect pack for a new owner or maybe even sell this dome separately because this is usually like 50 bucks and maybe do the smaller things together or the lights i don't know just something so this way it's useful and it makes sense for somebody to actually buy it 
And then I found one, two, three, four, five. Actually, I had another one and I gave them to Sean's parents uh, because they have a fountain in their backyard. But these are Pond Zyme Sludge Destroyers. And some of these are like right on the cusp of expiration. Uh, one of them is from 2019. But I feel like I don't think this kind of stuff could really go bad. So me and Sean want to do a pond in the backyard. So I figure, you know what, let me save it. So this way when we do our pond, we will keep it clean and not crusty. And then maybe I could look into selling uh, goods that I don't know if people would want to buy it because it's expired, but hey, we'll see, okay? And then these stairs, okay? These are in perfect condition. Nice little forceps for your pets to go up to your bed. Um, my dogs are big, so they don't need a little step. They just jump right on whenever they want. So I will sell this. And then, uh, this is actually awesome. I saw it and I, like, I was wondering if it was gonna have all the parts and what, if anything was broken. Uh, but I actually, I set this up yesterday. It's a guinea pig home and it has everything. Uh, it looks like it was used and it seemed like somebody might've used it and then returned it pretty quickly. Uh, because the only thing that was damaged on this whole thing is there was just like one clip here on this side and then one on this side that was broken, but th this still mounts on the cage just as is and everything else works. A oh, but they did steal the water bottle. That sadly was no longer there, but I was thinking this could be a really good gift maybe for my little sisters or I could sell it maybe on Facebook Marketplace, something like that. Just and then doing a little bit of a twirl, I actually have some donations right over here. This in this bag is our animal donations. So these I'm going to give to a local shelter. We have baby dog diapers here. Uh, we have a variation of a different size little like winter booties. Uh, dog toy, I can't give this to Riker because he will destroy to smithereens because it's soft and like anything with stuffing, it's, it's not safe. Uh, baby little like reusable top paw diaper. We have some cat food and this actually i always give like cat stuff to my neighbor because she takes care of a lot of strays and she has a ton of cats also from these whiskey bags uh that i also see if she will want these little cute monster ink guys i found them i tried to give them to Riker, but like how i said he destroys everything so quick and granted they're a little messed up and this was after like literally five seconds so i figured but you know what maybe a dog in a shelter could use this who isn't as aggressive uh as an aggressive chewer. And then we have a little bit of a bird kind of hang thing. I don't have birds, so I have no need for it. So I figure, hey, I will see if a shelter could use it. And then in this bag, I have a variety of different food that's all brand new and completely sealed uh, that I figure somebody else could use. I also have protein bars in here. It's a little bit of everything. Uh, and then I do have two ironing board covers. Granted, this one has red spray paint on it and I washed them both. I bleached them too. I don't bring anything fabric -y in my house without, you know, disinfecting it. I want to make sure there's no creepy crawlies uh, living in anything before bringing it inside. So, you know, we already have an ironing board cover, so I figure it might help somebody else. Also, this flute book i just figure it's cute granted it doesn't have a flute but i figure maybe a kid could use it that dog bowl from the last video uh just because i don't need another one at this moment and then this box is stuff that i think my little sisters would absolutely enjoy and love like these are calendars that are expiring this year but the graphics are really cool in them so i figure maybe some arts and crafts a uh, highlights magazine because kids love those um these little slippers, granted they're a little big, so I was gonna see if anybody in my family would fit in them. Like, they're a little big for them, but they're six and seven, so they're tiny, but they were brand new. And then like, a little purse, uh, some headphones I found with a charger that are wireless, a little, it was brand new face mask kind of covering and some new uh, twin sheets as well with a, like a mattress cover and mattress pad. And then like, I just found like fun, like kind of toy stuff. And again, like once I disinfect it, I'm like, okay, you know what? My sisters, I'm sure, would enjoy it and have fun with it. And then, lastly, we have this adorable paw print mat. Um, it did have red spray paint all over it, but I ended up putting it in the wash and it came right out, with no problem. So I'm very glad that I was able to fix and salvage this baby. And another treasure I found is this 30 cup coffee urn. I did test it outside, already washed it and cleaned it. This had red spray paint all over it and I was able to save it. And uh, you know, it's nothing a little acetone cannot fix, but it works like a charm. I mean, I'm tempted to, it's a really nice kind of brand. Oh, oh, oh my God, oh my God. Yeah, yeah, it's real nice as I like knock it over. Um, but it's a Nesco, which 
Like my parents have always had a like a turkey cooker that's a Nesco brand and they've loved it and it's lasted them literally 20 years. So if that can last them 20 years, I'm sure that this can last them, well, last me or somebody else a heck of a long time. As long as you don't keep dropping it like that. And then I do have a few more things that I found that are actually bigger finds. And, uh, oh, so I know this is a work in progress. This is Octavia. I painted her blue. It's Tis the season to be spooky for Halloween. So I'm in the process of filming a little bit of a Corpse Bride tutorial, hence why she's blue. And I'm not just trying to go for like the blue kind of like X-Men look, but I ended up finding two ninjas. Um, one, both of them work, so I've tested them, but like they're missing some pieces. But after a few trips, I was able to find a full ninja, like a full like blender kind of like big boy. And then I found another one that's like an uber fancy ninja. And then I found like a crook splendor. And I also found a, a chrome toaster, which is like 60 bucks. And granted, they all like have spray paint on them, but it's nothing that acetone can't fix. Aside from that, I also found a chi straightener and I Googled it and they're like hundred bucks. So, I mean, that's something else that I could sell for a pretty good profit. So I'm going to give it a shot. And at the pet store that I found a bunch of stuff in, there was also this fish tank. Uh, I ended up taking it because I eventually want to do aquatic plants in it. Um, and I think it would look really nice. I like how shallow it is too. Like it's deep, but I mean like depth wise, it's not too, you know, it doesn't go back too much. And in the meantime, I have my snails in it just so this way they have a little bit of an in-between home. Now that the season's changing, I'm thinking about putting these guys back outside. Uh, just because I have a lot going on. I have my snails here, I have my caterpillars here that were eating my kale, and then I felt bad kicking them out from their main food source, so I put them in this bowl, which I also found in the dumpster. Fun fact, it has a crack, but hey, you know, as long as you're not putting water in it, you're good. I know this video is a little bit of all over the place, but I ended up finding another series of hooks right here, which are all in perfect shape. They just have some spray paint. And I'm just trying to something new. I ended up putting resin, like I painted it, like, and so then I'll add the hardware back on top of there. And then I also found uh, this brand new toy right here, a Nitroflex. And lastly, I found this little strawberry. I figured it's it's adorable. Um, I gave, I found two, I gave one to Riker. He ate him in a second and he took the ball out of him. So, you know, I'm gonna leave, I'm gonna sell him uh, or donate him one or the other just because I can't, I can't let any more poor animals get destroyed. Do you destroy everything? Yes. Do you mean to? No. Destroy? Ooh. So I gotta get back to my measurements, but thank you for watching. And again, if you like this kind of stuff, these kind of hauls and this content, do me a favor and let me know, subscribe, like the video, comment on the video, let me know what's your favorite thing that I found, uh, cause this is a big haul. Go into dumpster diving with expectations on if you find something great. I mean, for the most part, there's been times where I don't find anything and then there's times where I find like a bunch of things all at once, but just be open to the concept, be safe, don't trespass, don't break into locked dumpsters. But if it's in an area that doesn't have a no trespassing sign, nobody's asked you to, you know, leave or, you, you know, you know that it's a public area that doesn't have any kind of trespassing or it's not locked, like the dumpster itself isn't locked, then go for it if you're curious because it's really crazy that all of this was going to be just thrown away. And as you can see, it's like these are things that are brand new. These are things that you can repurpose, that you can use, that you can give to your friends, your family, or that you can sell. And really, I mean, it's, it's a win-win all across. So... Thanks for watching and until next time.